Cinnarazine is a medication derivative of piperazine, and characterized as an antihistamine and a calcium channel blocker. It is also known to promote cerebral blood flow, and so is used to treat cerebral apoplexy, post-trauma cerebral symptoms, and cerebral arteriosclerosis. However, it is more commonly prescribed for nausea and vomiting due to motion sickness or other sources such as chemotherapy, vertigo, or Meniere's disease. Cinerazine was first synthesized by Janssen Pharmaceutica in 1955. The non-proprietary name is derived from the cinnamyl substituent on one of the nitrogen atoms. Combined with the generic kending, resine, for antihistaminics, cerebral vasodilators, it is not available in the United States or Canada. It is manufactured and marketed in Bangladesh under the trade name Suzaran by Reefco Pharmaceuticals Limited. It has also been cited as one of the most used drugs for seasickness within the British Royal Navy. Medical uses. Cinerazine is predominantly used to treat nausea and vomiting associated with motion sickness, vertigo, Meniere's disease, or Kogan's syndrome. In fact, it is one of only a select few drugs that has shown a beneficial effect in the chronic treatment of the vertigo and tinnitus associated with Meniere's disease. However, due to increased levels of drowsiness caused by the medication, it is generally of limited use in pilots and air crew who must be dependably alert. In a clinical study, treatment with cinerazine reduced the occurrence of moderate vertigo experience by 65.8% and extreme vertigo by 89.8%. It acts by interfering with the signal transmission between vestibular apparatus of the inner ear and the vomiting center of the hypothalamus by limiting the activity of the vestibular hair cells which send signals about movement. The disparity of signal processing between inner ear motion receptors and the visual senses is abolished, so that the confusion of brain whether the individual is moving or standing is reduced. Vomiting in motion sickness could be a physiological compensatory mechanism of the brain to keep the individual from moving so that it can adjust to the signal perception. But the true evolutionary reason for this malady is currently unknown. When prescribed for balance problems and vertigo, cinerazine is typically taken two or three times daily depending on the amount of each dose and when used to treat motion sickness. The pill is taken at least two hours before traveling and then again every four hours during travel. However, a recent 2012 study comparing the effects of cinerazine to transdermal scopolamine for the treatment of seasickness concluded that scopolamine was reported as significantly more effective and as having fewer adverse side effects than cinerazine. This led to the conclusion that transdermal scopolamine is likely a better option for the treatment of motion sickness in naval crew and other sea travelers. Beyond an anti-vertigo treatment, cinerazine could be also viewed as a nootropic drug because of its vasoral exiting abilities which happen mostly in brain and the fact that it is also used as a labyrinthine sedative. Cinerazine inhibits the flow of calcium into red blood cells, which increases the elasticity of the cell wall, thereby increasing their flexibility and making the blood less viscous. This allows the blood to travel more efficiently and effectively through narrowed vessels in order to bring oxygen to damaged tissue. It is also effectively combined with other nootropics primarily pyrocetum, in such combination each drug potentiates the other in boosting brain oxygen supply. An animal study comparing the effectiveness of cinerazine and flunorazine has been measured to be 275 plus or minus 36 nanograms ml, where T max, the amount of time that the drug is present at the max amount in the blood, was 3.0 plus or minus 0.5 hours. AUC infinity, which can be used to estimate bioavailability, was 4,437 plus or minus 948. The half-life elimination varies from 3.4-60 hours, depending on age.
However, the mean terminal half-life elimination for young volunteer subjects administered 75 mg cinerazine was found to be 23.6 plus or minus 3.2 hours. A study that administered 75 mg doses of cinerazine twice a day for 12 days to healthy volunteers observed that cinerazine did build up in the body, with a steady state accumulation factor of 2.79 plus or minus 0.23. However, the AUCT for this amount of time was not significantly different from the AUC infinity, which was estimated from the single-dose administration, as a very weakly basic and also lipophilic compound with low aqueous solubility. Cinerazine is able to cross the blood-brain barrier by simple diffusion. It is because of this property that it is able to exert its effects on cerebral blood flow in the brain. Bioavailability of orally administered cinerazine is typically low and variable due to high incidence of degradation. However, it has been found that when administered intravenously in lipid emulsion, better pharmacokinetics and tissue distribution were achieved. The lipid emulsion administration had a higher AUC and lower clearance than the solution form, which meant that there was an increased bioavailability of cinerazine, allowing for an improved therapeutic effect. Plasma pharmacokinetics of cinerazine administered intravenously follows a three-compartment model first with a fast distribution phase followed by a slower distribution phase, and ending with a very slow elimination. The VSS for lipid emulsion administration was 2x lower than that of cinerazine given in solution and it was found that significantly less. Cinerazine was taken up into the lung and brain in the lipid emulsion condition. This is significant because it would reduce the likelihood of toxic side effects in the central nervous system. Pharmacodynamics Cinerazine is classified as a selective antagonist of T-type voltage-operated calcium ion channels, because its binding blocks the channels and keeps them inert. It has a key value of 22 nanometer. It is also known to have antihistaminic, antiserotoninergic and antidopaminergic effects, binding to H1 histamine receptors and dopaminergic receptors. The IC50 of cinerazine for smooth muscle contraction inhibition is 60 mm and it has been shown that this drug preferentially binds to its target. Calcium channels when they are in an open, as opposed to closed conformation. In treatment of nausea and motion sickness it was previously hypothesized that cinerazine exerts its effects by inhibiting the calcium currents in voltage-gated channels in type 2 vestibular hair cells within the inner ear. However, more recent evidence supports the idea that at pharmacologically relevant levels, Cinerazine is not lessening vestibular vertigo by blocking calcium channels, but rather by inhibiting potassium currents that are activated by heightened hydrostatic pressure on the hair cells. It is true that cinerazine does abolish calcium currents in vestibular hair cells as well, it is just that this only occurs at higher concentrations of drug. The inhibition of these currents works to lessen the vertigo and motion-induced nausea by dampening the overreactivity of the vestibular hair cells, which send information about balance and motion to the brain. Elimination After administration, cinerazine is completely metabolized within the body and the metabolites are eliminated by one-third in the urine and two-thirds in solid waste.